Hi Aquarius, welcome to your general tarot forecast for November. This is Mary, Mrs. Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, for personal readings, ways to uh, tip or donate, social media links, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out, be greatly appreciated. And quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. Those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you so much for your support. Being a part of the channel's growth, I couldn't do it without you guys. And getting these messages out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you so much. Okay, so this is for Aquarius, general tarot forecast for November. So we're just going to see what comes out here. We could um, get love, we could get money, career, finance, uh, family situation, friend situation. It could be anything. So just see what comes out. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy November. Happy fall. All right. My cards are jumping already. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we get a sign, element, or planet. See how that affects your reading. If you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, totally fine. The rest of the reading may be for you. If you clicked on the title because it resonated for you, then there's probably some message in here for you. It's not may not be for everybody, or certain parts may, may not be for you. As always with tarot, you take what resonates and you throw away what doesn't. I mean, this if it's not about you, this could also be about somebody around you. That could be affecting your life in some way also. So please keep that in mind. So let's see what we have. So we have Saturn energy here, which is Capricorn energy. So some of you could have um, a Capricorn in your life in some way, or you could have it in your chart, or they could have it in their chart somewhere. Uh, Saturn represents Capricorn, and Capricorn in the major arcana in the tarot is the devil, which talks about some sort of toxic energy. So I don't know if that means anything to anybody. So I noticed Aquarius are 11, Saturn is 19, which reduces to 10. Tens are an ending, one is a new beginning. And then if you add 11, it's two, so it's like one, two. And then if you add that together, that's three. So you may be working on something to go, uh, maybe working on a new beginning or, so, or thinking about it or something like that, I don't know. But I'm not an astrologist, so I got to read what Jupiter, uh, Saturn means. I'm sorry. So Saturn is about ambition, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. Goals. I mean, some of you could be working towards some sort of new beginning here. I don't know. I don't know. So we'll see what's going on with you, Aquarius. What's going on? with Aquarius Spirit, please, for November. All right, if my cards will shuffle. Okay, there we go, it's a little better. Let's do one more. I know, I just want a really good shuffle, please. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is get um, sort of like an opening message for you. So let's get a message for Aquarius Spirit, please, for November. What do they need to know? What is the message for them? Feeling that one. All right, so we have balance, which is temperance energy here, which is Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. So this is zebra. By merging varying points of view, you can generate an extraordinary new idea. Didn't I just say some of you may be working on goals or working towards a new beginning or a new idea. Compromise with others and collaborate to discover a better solution. So collaborating, if threes are all about social, teamwork, collaboration, people working together, coming together in some way. So that may mean something for some of you. And then you have balances 14, that's a major arcana. Five, that equals five, which is about change. So I do feel like some of you are working on some sort of change. Wow. So I say let's get an open and opening energy for you. And we have the world here, which is Shetland Sheepdog. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set 
out to do. You've made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons life offered you with grace and courage. And the world energy here is earth energy. It doesn't have to be. But this is about ending out cycles and starting a new cycle. So some of you may be ending a chapter and starting out in a new chapter. And this is two major arcanas right out of the gate here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Another, <laughs> another major. We have Release 13, which I believe is the death card. Peacock, it's time to release that past, the past, and move on to something new. Wow, I'm getting, yeah. <laughs> this ending is the first step on the way to a happier future. So this is uh, the Capricorn energy. Nope, that's death, that's uh, Scorpio. I was thinking of uh, the devil. So yeah, this is uh, death, which is Scorpio energy. Doesn't have to be. So releasing the past and heading on to a happier future. And embracing something new so we got something new here something new here something here with collaboration uh, a new idea so here's the new idea here's closing out a cycle starting a new cycle and here's releasing something old to bring in something new Wow so yep so let's see I did have underneath here I just happened to uh, Look, you have the four of spring, otter. It's time to kick back, relax, and celebrate all that you have. Joy arises from success in your career, the, com the completion of a project, or a very happy home life. So this is the four of wands energy. So there may be something changing in your home life, I feel. There's something you want to make more stable surrounding your home life. Hmm. I don't know. Some of you may have dogs with the sheep and sheep dog right there. Maybe some of you live on a farm, work at a zoo. I don't know. <laughs> we got a zebra, a dog, an otter, and a peacock. All right. So let's see. Let's clarify the world. Why is the world here for Aquarius for November? So let's see what you're closing out. The Page of Pentacles. So this is uh, an offer coming in. You could be extending out an offer to somebody. Somebody could be extending out an offer to you. This is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But yeah, this is, and I look. it looks like here, whatever offer is coming in, you may accept it. It could be offer, um, it could be a job offer. It could be... Uh, some sort of money coming in or something here where you're uh, accepting some sort of offer here and it's going to bring in a whole new world for you and bring you balance make you more stable in your home life will enable you to release things in the past no longer serving you so let's get a couple more on that so what's going on here that's too many i want two two for aquarius Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles and we have the Two of Swords, so Earth Energy again. And now we have some air here, and that's your energy, Virgo, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So I feel like you're going to have to make a decision here. Is this something I want to invest in? Is this something that will work out for me in the long term? Can I invest in, invest in this wisely? And will it grow and prosper in the future? And Seven of Pentacles energy there is about thinking and contemplating and maybe you may wait a while while you try to decide uh, if you're going to accept that offer. So let's get a couple more clarifiers on that. So I do see an offer coming in about something. It could be money, job, career, something with your career. It could be anything and... You're gonna you're gonna investigate. You're gonna wait. You're gonna think it through. You know, before you decide on this if it's gonna be worth investing in. So we got the seven of wands here again. This man kind of in a contemplative state here. Um, seven of wands, fire, Leo, Sagittarius, and now we have death here again with Scorpio, which is this release here. So now we have death coming up twice. So. So I feel like with death, 
and the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is usually, this is the before tarot, so you're not quite ready to fight for this yet. It's like you're thinking about it. This is something I want to fight for, defend, and go after. You know, is do I want to end whatever cycle I'm in first and accept this and fight for it and make that decision? But I need to know if it's worth investing in. So you're going to think about that. You're going to take your time, I think, and really think this through before you decide uh, just to release whatever cycle you're in now and move forward in this new cycle. You know, will this bring me balance? You know, will this make me stable? All right. So let's get your actual situation. The Eight of Pentacles now. And the Page of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So Eight of Pentacles here is, uh, you know, working, mastering your craft, putting in that uh, hard work, the work needed. And then you got the page of wands, which is good news coming in or good news going out. Again, it's exciting, new, passionate offer, communication, exciting new endeavor, project or something here. So there's the offer coming in again in the middle. It's right in the middle of your spread. So the offer's here, the offer's there. And then you have the ace of swords energy here. And this always kind of reminds me of divine energy, but this is your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So... This is like the sword of victory, the sword of truth. You can use that sword to cut away things no longer serving you. You know, having a big epiphany, a realization. So let's get a couple more clarifiers to see. I think you're going to see the truth and clarity of the situation and realize, you know, and I'm getting a lot of like work or career or something like that, that this may be something that um, you could really work at, be good at. Let's get a couple of clarifiers. So we have the Knight of Wands. So this is moving forward passionately, a lot of drive, ambition, go-getter type of energy, Leo Sagittarius. And now the Ten of Wands, so releasing burden. So that's coming in right under death. So yeah, so I think you accept this and move forward with a lot of drive, ambition, passion, go-getter type of energy, being very excited about it, and now being able to release, right here, release all this burden energy, um, whatever cycle you're in now, it's like, it's just, it's not fulfilling for me anymore, I, I'm just so done with it. And you'll see the light here with the Ace of Swords and realize, you know what, I think I wanna grab this new opportunity and I think you're going to go after it with a lot of drive, ambition. Because you see now, he's thinking about taking up that wand, taking up that offer. And now he's got the wand in hand. And he's moving forward with all that, with all that drive, ambition. He, she, you know. I just said he because it's a man depicted on the card. Because right, yeah, you got death over here with the ten of wands. So yeah, just ending that cycle. Tens are about an ending. And I had said Saturn... 1910 is an ending and then there's a new beginning so and it also represents security so you want to make sure this is going to be a secure offer to you that will guarantee you security moving forward for the future also all right so let's get some advice for you in this situation advice for aquarius Oh, the Ten of Cups and the Page of Cups. Wow. So Ten of Cups, it's like, yeah, where you feel you are now, it's just like doomy, gloomy, and just like blah. But you can run out of that situation or run into this new situation out of the rain and have total happiness and joy fulfillment in this new chapter. And here's the Page of Cups. You know, this is again about communication offer coming in and out, a compassionate offer, a loving offer, um, a sincere offer, a sincere, sir, your, your advice I think is to accept this offer with sincerity. 
so you can come out of the rain wherever you are now where it's just, just doomy and gloomy. And uh, you can turn this rain into sunny, um, a sunny ten of cups. <laughs> Not a doomy, gloomy ten of cups. All right, so let's get um, a couple more, a couple more to clarify your advice for Aquarius. So we have temperance again, as we had temperance there. Sagittarius energy. So this is about patience, balance, healing energy, uh, divine timing, something that's meant for you here being, you know, this angel bringing you something that's meant for you that will bring you balance. So yeah, and that's going after this very balanced offer, I feel. Very balanced offer. And then you see here the Six of Swords. So this is your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Oh my God, if I can speak, I sound like I'm drunk. Um, this is moving ahead to a more peaceful, calmful uh, place and leaving all the past garbage behind you don't need. See, this woman is just getting on the boat to take off to go into a better direction. So, yeah, so you got death, ending what's not working for you, that's burdensome, ending that, getting on that boat and sailing forward to a better direction and knowing how balanced this offer is. It's a sincere offer, I feel, that you need to accept so you can come out of the rain Come out of the rain in this Ten of Cups and move forward in a better direction where there's no rain. All right, so if you accept this offer or whatever idea or direction that you're going in, the King of Pentacles, so there you go. Uh, Earth energy, but it doesn't have to be. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is somebody who is stable, is grounded, is secure, who makes their money who uh, is financially smart and savvy, who makes their coins and they're very abundant and stable. So yeah, so this will bring in stability for you, money, uh, maybe, you know, just being very uh, abundant and not, have to, not having to worry anymore. And it's divinely, being divinely handed to you here from above. All right, so. So let's get more clarity on your possible outcome. Just want two more for the possible outcome. So we have the hangman. Yeah, being in limbo, Pisces, Cancer Pisces doesn't have to be. Yeah, being in limbo on this for a while, getting every perspective of this offer, of this new idea, whatever this is moving forward, just kind of hanging back, going with the flow, not taking any action. But then, you know, you will get enlightened here because you see that um, the head is all lit up eventually, which is that Ace of Swords moment. It's like you'll have that Ace of Swords moment. Like, uh, yeah, I think I need to come down from hanging from this tree and uh, get after this. Get after my stability, growth, and expansion. All right, so one more. <laughs> I will... Holy crap, I had just said, Spirit had just told me and I didn't say it. And that's what happens when I don't say it. Then they just give me the card to clarify. I was going to say, that looks like the Ace of Pentacles being divinely guided. And what did just fall out, you see me shuffle, is the Ace of Pentacles being divinely handed to you. So this is your stable new beginning of growth, expansion, abundance. Investing wisely for the future, which we have right here with the Seven of Pentacles. So there's your brand new beginning of stability, growth, and abundance for the long term, for the long haul, a wise investment moving forward for your future. And I put it right on the moving forward, as I said that, to a better place with the Six of Swords. So, wow, Spirit, just clarifying what I said, because <laughs> I didn't say it. They're going to say, well, then I'm going to give you the card because you didn't want to say it. Always happens. All right, so now we got the King of Wands energy. Uh... Leo Sagittarius doesn't have to be. So, you know, being that Knight of Wands was moving forward with drive ambition. And this is the go-getter who's gone after it. They've accomplished what they've accomplished. A lot of drive, ambition, and passion. They could be a business owner, um, a high-ranking boss, or something like that. Somebody who's very passionate and sitting in their crown. So you'll be sitting pretty. And now the King of Cups. Wow. So you got 
one, two, three. The only thing we don't have is the King of Swords, but King of Cups energy here. So being like totally fulfilled, peace, happiness, joy, just loving what you do and being in a more peaceful, harmonious place and just like living out your life in like passion and excitement. Four of Cups energy here. So, you know, accepting the offer because you're drinking the cup. So I feel like you will accept this offer, whatever it is for you. Eight of Swords energy here. So being a little mentally trapped, you know, stuck in your head for a while here as you were in the hangman energy, just thinking, contemplating, you know, I don't know what to do. I mean, caught up in your head. But now, you know, you'll see the light with the Hierophant energy, faith, spirituality, kind of energy, um, morals. And that sort of energy, I think you'll just, divine energy is just going to show you the light here. Yep. Bring you out of this mental entrapment and you'll accept this and you'll be in a more loving, harmonious, peaceful place full of drive, ambition, and uh, passion moving forward. Wow, so you got three kings here. Passion, stability, uh, love and compassion, and peace. Wow. Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. So if you're thinking about starting something new and uh, you're just not sure whether or not to make a change of some kind, everything looks good. So, I mean, you could do what you want. You have free will. But maybe this will help you to, if you've had that gut feeling and knowing that it's right, then this is maybe confirmation for you. So Aquarius, I'm going to pull a few extra uh, cards here for extra messages. But if you do like how I read, you like my style, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell if you subscribe. You won't miss any readings. I do four readings a month. I do a general tarot forecast like this. I do a uh, love connection reading. I do a singles reading who may be coming towards you, when, where, how, what kind of connection it will be. And I also do a spirit messages reading messages from your spirit guides, which you need to know at this time. So if you're interested in all that, please do hit the bell after you subscribe and you won't miss any readings. Okay, so all the Love Connection readings are done uh, for November. So, yeah, and I had just said spirituality and religion. I had just said with the Hierophant that they will show you the way, they will show you the light, and there's the candle with the light there. So... I think that spiritually somehow you'll see the light, you'll know the way. That makes sense for you. Trusting your gut, your intuition. All right, that's way too many. So anything else for Aquarius? Well, we have unrequited love here. So I'm just feeling like where you are now, it's like you just don't love it. It's like you don't hate it, you don't like it, you don't love it. I, I don't know. It's just like an unrequited love kind of feeling uh, where whatever situation you're in, it's like, it's like, uh, it's not serving me anymore. You know, if it's a job or whatever here, it's like, see how blah she looks like, yeah, I'm just not, you know, I'm just not liking this anymore. <laughs> I mean, maybe you did it one time, but now it's like, uh, you know, I'm just bored, just bored. Yeah, you feel like you're imprisoned slavery. You, f you could feel it like a slave, whatever you're doing, like, you know, work you do or whatever, like just feeling like a slave, feeling like you're stuck in a prison, like you're imprisoned to um, the grind that you're in now. Anything else for Aquarius for November? Are there any other messages? For Aquarius, for November Spirit, please. Any other messages? A few more shuffles. Karmic relationship. Yeah, so uh, it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be uh, maybe for some of you, you're in a karmic relationship that you feel trapped in and there's no more love there. And if you're, this is the change that you're thinking about is getting out of this and closing it and starting a new life for yourself then I think it'll lead to your self-fulfillment, having passion for life again, and being more stable. But I do feel for some of you, it's like a career change or something like that. And also that career that you're in now just could be a karmic relationship. It could, could have been just in your life 
for the time it was to learn some sort of lessons in that environment for some reason. So yeah, maybe, you know, we have persecution and inquisition. So maybe, you know, wherever you are now, it's like very judgmental, like you feel persecuted all the time, like judged, uh, maybe, uh, you know, they never have any, never have anything good to say to you. You know, maybe it's very um, criticizing is what I'm getting. And it's like, I don't see any more growth and expansion there. Uh, I'm just criticized all the time. I feel like I'm being persecuted all the time for every, every little thing I do. So, yeah. So, yeah, I do feel like this change here uh, is necessary for you, Aquarius. So I hope this resonated for you, Aquarius. Um, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, it's to always, always shine your light.